Oh. What? What? I heard a vibration and I started to panic. That was me. I, was, oh. <laughs> I vibrated. Yeah, it was we shouldn't me. have it on the table, yes. though. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not on the mic stand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have, a, I have the ringer off. It's, it's set to vibrate. You, We're fine. You haven't been on the podcast for like a month. And I now we, I think we have broken down and you fixed everything. At least no, you didn't just I, stick it on the mic. And you fixed the vibrate. concept of vibration. Yeah, <laughs> the table. You got the table like anti-vibrating. There's the new no. one. It's a new table. It's not a new table. It's, it's the same damn table. I've never, I've never seen this table before. What? I mean, this is new. Who are you? Welcome to Crippled System, episode one forty nine. Which you can't divide by twelve. You can't. We checked. <laughs> Pointlessly. <laughs> we can. You can divide anything by twelve. Yes, correct. You but not into a, not, not into, into a whole, whole number. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Andy. I checked eight. <laughs> I checked eight. I did not check eight. You didn't check eight. We don't know. My name is Andy, and I'm not divisible by twelve. <laughs> My name is Brian. We're, we're sticking with our one Brian per podcast limit that's been newly enforced. Well, one Brian has been <laughs> <Right>. banished. <laughs> I, I almost got Brian Culp on the podcast. <laughs> On the podcast, the cockcast is something. I was almost going to put some effort into having the WTC dispute the Brian's. Oh, or just, just, just find like Brian Bryans. White. So Culp, <laughs> Kerr, Geezy, call up Brian White and Lundin. And, 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 and oh, Brian Lundin. There you go. Yeah, yeah. The Brian that hangs out with me. Yeah, we just give him every hard match. He's going to lose anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we, just, we just pair him with like the worst terrible thing possible because whatever. God. And then we just there's probably another Brian White. There's probably another Brian was in the in the Midwest. It's a legitimate strategy. Yeah. <laughs> just you know, oh yeah, we're gonna lose that. Go to hell and just throw a guy at him. Yeah. That's how you do it. Brian broke or Brian. Andy broke the podcast. Oh, I Whoa, can hear I myself. It. That's there's, terrible. There's, uh, uh, oh God, I hate hearing me. Yeah, I had so to come bad. back to the podcast. So <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> we feel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, 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 we're we're introing. Yeah. I'm Nathan. I'm Casey. I'm John. I, I had to come back because three people requested me. I had three fans I found out. Three people missed me. Yeah. One's an idiot, one's a moron, and one's a putz. <laughs> One of them is Keith Hooks, and you guys can figure out. You guys can, they can solve the puzzle from Wait, there. Wait, hold on. I figured out the puzzle. I've, been, I've, I've seen these riddles. He's all three of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the two grandmothers and two granddaughters, and, three, and it turns out it's all the same woman, right? Uh, you know. So that's a, that's a very elaborate Venn diagram. It's just a circle with key Keith Hooks in, in, it. in yeah. the center. I know a lot of There's three circles, but it says this circle's an idiot, this circle's a moron, and this circle's a putz, and they're just all in that one circle, and the other two are fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good time. All right, I'm out. You're done already? <laughs> I said I'd show up. Uh, that's all. We have not tried this uh, barbecue sauce. It's yellow, barbecue sauce. Oh, speaking of that. Is it just mustard-based? Andy figured out something about um, the person who sent that stuff. Who was, was it? Tau Beast. That was yeah, Tau Beast. Sent Tau it. Beast. We're on to Tau Beast because he sent us one bag of pork rinds. Yeah. One bag of pork rinds. There, there was a sticker. There was a sticker on that bag of pork rinds that said, buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our other bag of pork rinds, Tau Beast? Does anyone actually like pork rinds? Oh, no. fuck you! Yeah, Those I liked are... them when I was like thirteen to fourteen. I had those a one year period where I eat them. They're potato chips I... made out of dead animal. It's great, except for the texture they leave in your mouth. Oh, they're so uh, puffy and, and airy. The taste. Okay, so they're like cheese puffs. They're like Cheetos. The puffy yeah, but Cheetos. They don't leave that like really mm. disgusting film no. on your teeth. Like I don't mind the taste of pork rinds. It's the after effect of pork rinds. Mm-hmm. Do you feel this way about bacon? Oh God, no. no! I just ate like it's basically just dried bacon. It's yeah. pretty much all pork rinds are. It's yeah, puffy bacon. It's puffy bacon. Actually, bacon. leave like a film on my teeth. Every Whoa. pork rind I've ever had. Yeah. Mm. Just get rid of your teeth. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. We just watched a That's show a about valid that. tactic. Yeah. Yeah. Just get rid of them. And you, you can dump need pork rinds to your heart's de- delight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a cr- I'm getting one crown per year, so I'm kind of on a removal of teeth with crowns. <laughs> I, I've gotten a crown a year for the last some three or four years now. It's there you go. See. Brian's got it going. Just be willing well, to throw. Be able to gum them. Just throw it. Yeah. it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to crown. It's it's a more expensive way to go. Okay. <laughs> I got like six hundred dollars a year on, on crowns. It's a way to go. So you did mention if you don't like pork rinds, you should try crackers and raw eggs. Yeah. For, yeah. Oh, that, uh, yeah that's, 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 that doesn't leave a film on your teeth. It I'm doesn't. Sure. It just fills up the belly. <laughs> <laughs> with some rancid paste. Maybe I'll bring so, it to the Shades party. I'll just bring a big bucket of uh, <laughs> crackers and raw eggs. 
Oh my god, Katie would just get so <laughs> that would be the best. Just, man. just bring crushed crackers in the bucket. <laughs> you got eggs. <laughs> just ask <laughs> if she's got eggs, or or even just pretend that they are. No, no, I, I wouldn't pretend. I, would, I mean, I'll just bring a dozen eggs and a bunch of crackers, three boxes of crackers, and just mush it all together. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Like, it'll, it, what will end up happening is that everyone will try it on a dare, and then everyone at the party will love it. And it'll turn out that Brian was right this whole time, <laughs> and it's the greatest thing. Gordon Ramsay will drop in and say it's his favorite thing ever. <laughs> I mean, the good thing about it is you don't have to worry about salmonella, because salmonella is on the outside of the egg. Yeah. Yeah, so. see, unless Brian's just rubbing the egg. Well, uh, that would be ridiculous. We would assume at least proper safety etiquette People is eat observed. eat raw eggs all the time. It's very healthy for you. You I don't like your eggs video. clean before you use them? You don't suck on your eggs? <laughs> don't suck on my eggs. You're not supposed to suck on your eggs? What? I'm so what? confused. You only suck on somebody else's eggs. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I usually pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Indeed. All right. Do so we have any announcements? We have the replay of two giant fucking announcements, but we can save your, them. Your for announcements this. are irrelevant. <laughs> Good the, point. The, well, as everyone knows, <laughs> the Acres are here. Yay! Yay! There are the Yay! Or as we normally call them, the replacement chase. Oh. <gasps> That's good though. You're Can the new. Katie? You replaced no. <laughs> them. They're they're the the shades of the old news. You're the no. new news. No, hold on. You're the improved version. They were Mark One. Jer Jer John is like 0.4 times smarter than Jeremy. Got the same beard. That's an insult. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say as we 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 like Katie, but we don't like Jeremy. That's why I said I'll I'll shave if I can be Katie. <laughs> no, no, we like Casey, and that's closer to Katie. Yeah, it's very that's close. Yeah. Yeah. I occasionally, when I'm around, I, I, I'll usually I'll, I'll call them up by wrong names constantly. I've called both of them by the wrong names at least 16 times. Yeah, I have been called Jeremy by Brian. I <laughs> you are the replacement <laughs> shades. That's not. It's like I they, they're they're lazy and, and bum, so they're out. And you guys are uh, fun. So like you're two in. weeks ago when you showed up to my cube, you're like Jeremy, and I'm like didn't turn around because that wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's more of your problem. You should know. You have you have two names now. You both have two names. I'm John Jeremy. Jeremy yeah. John. Jeremy John sounds better than John Jeremy. That's too Jimmy cool to Johns? Jimmy Johns. No, John Jeremy. Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. No. Bernie Jimmy Johns. He's a trophy hunter like that dentist. True story. Is he? Yeah, he is. Eat Emilio's or cousins instead. Yeah, he's he's kind of a dick. Yeah, I I've, I've avoided his place. I don't know. Never had it. It's really. The skinny subs aren't terrible. I, I kind of have avoided them. Uh, Jimmy John? It's yeah. literally the exact same thing as Cousins, because I believe they were like it's brothers more it's or more something. Like, it's more like Melios. I thought like the Cousins and Jimmy John's like owner CEOs were like literally brothers or something, and so they have the exact same recipes, or maybe that's just Quite an urban possibly. legend. Yeah, I, I, I haven't know. eaten at Cousins in like... I haven't had it's a Melios. 20 years. They're all yeah. the same. But Melios, I, I like Melios better than Jimmy John's. So I've had Melios, never had Cousins, never had the other one, Jimmy John's. I don't I don't like Melios that much either. It's, I'd actually rather have Subway. I would too. <laughs> or Firehouse. I don't know what's Hort. We're Fire arguing House. about food right now. Firehouse Fire. Fire. at. Thanks, Fire. thanks, oh, Hort. The only problem with Firehouse is that they have the best sandwich in the world, which is the New York Steamer. But every time I go, I don't think New York. You think Cleveland? <laughs> you th I might. First <laughs> of all, stop myself. Uh, their meatball sub is amazing, and their uh, other sub is amazing. Like, well, I can't think yeah, of they're all amazing, one. but they're the all New York steamers the, is the best. You know, the steak one's good. They're, uh, I don't know, they have like a melt thing, but they're all good. The it's meatball it. sub with pepperoni, though. You yeah. have to add the pepperoni. I, I haven't eaten there so long because it's so many calories, but oh, it's so good. It's the best meatballs. It's the best balls, Torque. Get to put, the, put those balls in your mouth. <laughs> Marinated balls. <laughs> They're marinated, covered in pepperoni. You could just suck them all day. J Nate or Andy here just gets them. <laughs> Whoever this person is. That's Nate. That's Jeremy. This is I don't know. You I, fucking I, Brian. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, when I go there, I only eat the balls. He gets the balls. He basically like throws them. He's like, don't don't give me the bread. Just give me a bowl. You should. I don't. I don't know why you don't order just a well, ball. I should get a sub bowl. A bowl. Just order a bowl of balls. Oh, because you never eat the bread. I was, I'm sure they can do that. Hey, he took a bite of the bread Are you going to Google we bowl of No, balls? I'm not going to Google bowl of balls. <laughs> because you got, you got so excited when I said that. You got, you just no, jumped. I got worried. I have to double check. Uh, okay, my Chipotle coupon expires on the 24th. I have time. <laughs> There's you, no you mentioned getting a bowl, and I was like, ah! Well, I, the thing is that when I go to Chipotle, I don't get anything that's normal there. I just get a cheese quesadilla. That's it. We've got, we've not got, we've, at least we had a theme going. We could start talking about War Machine. Well, announcements. I, 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 announcements. I have two announcements. One is a soft announcement, and the other one's a pretty hard announcement. 
get it like a penis. <laughs> uh, the soft announcement is the WTC, the Wisconsin Team Championship. W W W I W A T C. Yeah. We T C. I want to have somebody transcribe that. The W I T C. That's the best scene in that movie, I think. I love... Uh, that's Giamatti, right? No, not Giamatti. Yeah, that's probably it's Giamatti. G- that's G- Giamatti. Giamatti doing... Uh, it's, yeah. Is he dead or alive? He's alive. Yes. It's Philip Seymour Hoffman that's dead. They remind me very much of each other. Enough that I knew who you were thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For a while, I was thinking Jeremy Irons was dead because Alan Rickman died. I'm like, did they just one take... I thought one would die, he takes the other one with him. They had like a pack. Like, you just like, someone hunt, an assassin hunts the other half down. Yeah. Anyway, it's amazing how it, that, that that's okay. But like, if a, if Samuel Jackson died and you thought it was Lawrence Fishburne who died, all of a sudden you're racist. Uh, I can't tell anyone fucking apart. So I yeah. mean, I, I get a pass for all that nonsense, <laughs> except for the Jews. <laughs> you can tell them apart. <laughs> anyway, hey, I'm allowed to say that because you live with. Me. I live with the Jews. Like I can insult the Jews. I thought that's right. You live with the Jew. You can make all the Jew jokes right. you want. It's like it's an XCOM. I have a Jew pass. In an XCOM, I made I named all the characters, and of course, I had Jordan the Jew. You know, for his nickname. Everyone else had a cool nickname, and he was just a Jew. It's like how Katie Shea lives with a homosexual, so yeah. she's allowed to make fun of homosexuals. Exactly. Oh, jeez. I just called Jeremy gay in a circuitous method. <laughs> well, he does. He does drive. You know. He drinks. Uh, he drives a Mini Cooper and drinks mojitos. Correct. Although to be fair, uh, mojitos are delicious. I, mojitos are. I uh, there's that uh, burger joint called Deluxe down off the square. Just the letter D hyphen L U X because it's a okay. pretentious fucking place. But every year we go there for one of the my stepkids' birthdays. But at, the point is, they have these mojitos that are fucking amazing. Mm. So go there and get mojitos. They and make them with like ginger beer and cane sugar. And that's a WITC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what they're talking about. The WITC is going to be July, unless I move it because it turns out it's the same weekend as Rammstein's only American show. <laughs> what? This is bullshit. Yeah. But Rammstein's on Friday, the WITC's on Wednesday or on Saturday and Sunday. I've mixed up Did- my days there. Wednesday. So, <laughs> you're on Wednesday. Where, where is Rammstein playing? Chicago. Chicago. So we can go to Rammstein on Friday. Corn is on Saturday, and Nickelback's on Sunday. So we don't go. <laughs> or Sunday. Let's, let's not, not, let's not Nickelback. Same thing. <laughs> Nickelback. <laughs> I got excited for Nickelback. <laughs> Slipknot is just Nickelback with stupid masks on. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I mean, I th- take that, it, Iowa. Is it, is it, is it Rammstein just Nickelback with like, an accent? And, and flamethrowers. I'll cut yeah. you. <laughs> I will cut you. Help me. Fire. You like Nickelback, though. Yeah. All the, oh, wait, yeah. Explain that. I like old Nickelback. Old man they, Nickelback. They don't have some deep so, repertoire like the Stones. It's like I like to talk about eras of Nickelback. I like I like the first album. I'll I'll be I'll be the one who who dives onto this grenade here, okay? Because I I I guess I'm the one who loves Daredevil, according to Colin Pritchard. Oh, the podcast. movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you like the movie Daredevil. I, I like the director's cut of Daredevil, and it's not that bad. But anyway. Um, Where the fuck is this segue coming from? <laughs> Nickelback. Nickelback is Nickelback. not that bad. Nickelback. Nickelback is not that bad. I like one it's, of their What songs. does that have to do with Daredevil? Why did you just randomly mention Daredevil? No, because other, peop- other people are going to jump onto me hating, big... loving loving Nickelback all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Now. I thought just like, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, but uh, the Rolling Stones are okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. That was where I was trying to get at. I, I, I know that me saying that Nickelback is not that bad. It's 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 more it's more uh, a good thing to make fun of Nickelback than is. Uh, you you know. were qualifying the fact that your opinions are terrible mm-hmm. before making an opinion. Is mm-hmm. what you're yes, saying. Yes, he's mm-hmm. talking about the movie Tort, not the show. So he can yes, <laughs> he likes the movie Daredevil. Uh, hey, okay. So the WTC. Yes. The WTC. It's gonna be to- July. 17th, 18th, 19th, 19th, maybe. July 18th and 19th. You're on the fucking committee to run this thing. <laughs> it's late July, middle it's late, of the It's middle of July. It's July, yeah. It's, it's summer. summer. It's July in your area. And um, <laughs> it's team tournament is using the exact same rules as the the uh, Wisconsin, as the World Team Championships. Uh, for now, so it's capped at 32 teams. If we're... we're, we're it's capping signups currently for Wisconsin and states that border Wisconsin, either geographically or across Lake Michigan. So Michigan and Indiana are allowed. Do you not allow Canadians? I was going to say, what about Canada? Yeah. No. <gasps> oh. 
But elitist. After <laughs> so so maybe towards the end of March, after a month or so of the because this is supposed to be a local championship, mm -hmm. uh, but after maybe a month or so from now, we'll open it up like maybe another layer. And, and see until we get to the 32 cap. Because we don't want to make this the, like the national championship by just having people from Maine sign up. But so for now... Which um, is next year's goal, of course. Yeah. Canada... <laughs> Tort does have a good point. Canada is a state, uh, but it does not... State of despair. It is Boom. the Suck largest brand, state in America, the only one that's allowed to print its own money. Um, but it does not border Wisconsin across Lake Michigan or geographically by land. Uh, it does... It does... It's across the Superior. And Ontario is right up there. Michigan. It's connected to Lake Michigan. Also, it's... No. Well, that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just really don't want any Canadians fuck here. fuck Canada is what I'm saying. I don't want any filthy Canadians ice skating down here and playing our tournament. Ohio is, is too far away. It is for now. But the hey, point only is... I, I'll sk I skate uphill. That's hard. I know. That's impressive. What the fuck am I... I oh, just, you I can some, sign up. Some motherfuckers like yeah. to ice skate uphill. So you can sign up now if you're in one of those states. It's a hundred dollar deposit. Um, one hundred dollars. Yeah, it's hundred dollar deposit. Which is only one one fifth of think the actual. Think deposit. of that as well. So the cost. So here's here's the thing: is the cost is currently nebulous. Uh, Travis put out the actual math so people could see and understand the math. The cost is guaranteed to not be more than five hundred, and it's going to be less, which will lead into my second announcement. But for now, the the reason for that is that. You know, to buy 192 sets of terrain and zones and, and chess clocks and all that shit costs tens of thousands of dollars, which I don't have lying around, so we need to pay for that. And so worst case scenario, if any every penny of that came only from the teams, it would be $500 a team. Yeah, which sure. is $100 per player. So it's which is $100 per player, two-day event. I mean, that is expensive. I'm not going to lie, that's expensive. That's including... Uh, oh, I, I don't that's know what that's including. That's just that's the event. The, yeah. No that, food, that's no nothing, the, yes. no lodging. Okay. But it's not going to be that. Uh, twofold. Number one, because we're already shaving price by getting um, deals worked out. Like that was assuming $40 and $45 a set for like terrain and zones and stuff because mm -hmm. that was worst case scenario. It's such as buying them retail. We've been in talks with people getting them for cost, you know, getting mm -hmm. all the covered for way less than that. And that's going to shave off, you know, 100 bucks a team or something like that. I mean, so that's going to bring it down. And more importantly, it's going to be announcement two, which is not right now as you're listening to this live, but right now, if you're not listening to this live, because I'm going to do it tomorrow morning, the Kickstarter is up. <laughs> and so there's, as I'll use fruit tense now because I'll keep slipping into it, but we're doing the Kickstarter. Uh, and there's going to be backing and stuff like that, and we're going to have unique prizes, like one at a time, things like um, uh, Focus and Fury tokens that say that you're a backer of the team championship and, and, and T-shirts and stuff like that. Are they metal? Is this an official Kickstarter or a Kickstarter? Mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna, we're going to do it through Kickstarter. Okay. We're going to do it through Kickstarter just because it's a lot easier mm -hmm. for us, and it's easier for people. I mean, that way we don't have to figure out like the, the sideways way of doing it. Tort, you can, if you give $5,000, if you give $5,000, you can punch me as hard as you want anywhere in my body. I'll do it for cheaper. They can punch no, you anyway. No, they... no, no. I will, I will punch Nathan for cheaper. Someone give me 50 bucks. I'll punch him right now. My PayPal address is. Well, so <laughs> as everyone live. We'll just, as they get money and they just keep pounding Nathan for the next <laughs> As the Kickstarter minutes. keeps going and I get more desperate and huckstery, it, it'll drop. It'll be like 20 bucks. I'll rip a tooth out. Whatever it takes. <laughs> you have a headache. You need a tooth out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so the Kickstarter is going to be up and, and it's going to be... Like I said, I, we were looking at things like uh, T-shirts, um, uh, dice with the logo on it, tokens, widgets, uh, iron-on patches, uh, challenge um, coins, underwear. Was that we, for the? So that's for t that's going to be technically to raise money for the ATC, but the WTC is going to use all the same supplies. Gotcha. Uh, so it's kind of redundant because they're going to feed into each other. Because the annoying thing is that, like, let's say. I already have all the terrain and all the, the clocks and everything. Yep. And I just want to run the ATC. And I have no money, but that's fine, you know, because I'm going to take payment from all the teams and then use that payment to pay for the convention hall. Yes, sir. Well, that's all well and good, except the convention hall needs a deposit like six months in advance. So what's going to be doable is that the WTC happens. People pay their entry fees for the WTC. We go, thank you, and we give all that money to the convention hall for the ATC six months later. And then the ATC is held, and we go, thank you to the entry fees, and we can do that for the convention hall. So that yeah, way we're sure. always six months ahead of the other tournament. Yeah. It's just this first tournament that we don't have 
anything for anything for so yeah. all we have is our own our own crippled system stuff that we that we normally use yeah for our tournaments and that's yeah. that's that's like a maybe maybe an eighth of what we need like i thought we had a lot of chess clocks but we have like maybe 20 yeah like 22 times. 22 which yeah. i mean is great so Local. i only need another 170 yeah <laughs> well they're like five dollars a piece well, Tort's uh, going to start a Kickstarter to raise 5000 to to punch Nathan. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Man, that, that would be a great side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, See we'll which one raises more. We'll film it in slow motion. That'd be awesome. Yeah. We could, yeah. yeah we, we'll, we, 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 we'll, that'd we'll, be a we'll, we'll cover. He can come and he'll come here. We'll, we'll give him free room and board for a couple days. He can prepare himself <laughs> to hunt. And Nathan, Nathan will know Tort's in town for like the next three days. And he can punch him whenever, so he has, Nathan will be like a, on alert. Have to have like a chess a chess cam on Nathan at all times, so people can find him. You know. Yeah. See, My only see. knowledge of Tord, he looks like 1960s Batman because that's his Facebook picture. Yeah. So <laughs> unless a guy dressed like Adam West is coming at me down the road, I'll have no idea. It's Holding coming. a bomb over his head. Yeah, and he could hire a guy to do that to distract me. <laughs> <laughs> what the boom? Yeah. It won't be to the face. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're gonna cup the entire. <laughs> But yeah, so signups are live for the WITC and the Kickstarter, as of this being not live broadcast, will be will be available. And we'll link both of those on the website and Twitter and Facebooks and all that stuff. Awesome. We'll be talking about this for the next six yeah. months. Sorry well. in advance. I'm going to be talking about this for the next. Yeah, we're trying to see if we can get. I I'm already bored. Talk to Travis to see if we can get him onto the podcast as well to talk about it. Oh, boy. Because then we can make it even more boring. Because it'd be great. Nothing oh. says excitement like, I'm Travis. How are you? <laughs> I like War Machine a lot. <laughs> really. Is Travis listening? I can look. Travis yeah. is always listening. <laughs> so, and then I He's guess right there. we didn't specifically say that because that ties into it. Is is if you are one of the people who's sad that you're not close enough to be in the Wisconsin team championship next February, um, probably the second weekend. We haven't fully found out the, when, but next February, towards the beginning of February, will be the America's team championship. America. And that'll put it like a month after Captain Con, but a month before LVO, or maybe the other way around. LVO I can't remember. Is just happened, right? Well, I'm talking Captain, a year from now. Captain Con and yeah. happen the exact same weekend this current year. Yeah. So they're very similar. Maybe I'm thinking of a different two of There's a million. Co- the point is yeah. we're threading a needle. You you yeah. cannot have an event in America anymore that isn't within three weeks of a different event. Correct. It has become... It's Yeah, it's difficult. Well, the big thing about that one, the winning team is guaranteed one of the, one of the slots of the America's team. Correct. Yes. There, there's going to be... Because America, have they officially got a third WTC team yet, or no? I don't think it's official. I think it's kind of assumed it's going to happen. But even if it doesn't happen, I mean, I guess that'll just mess with the percentage that's tied to this. But well, they might. They actually they they announced the teams. I thought I don't really pay attention anymore to things. I I can double check. But but they did because they announced people. Because like I know NAC made it on the team, so obviously they had announced the teams. Oh yeah. But even if they still only have two this year, whether they have three next year, correct. The important thing is, regardless of how many they have next year. One of the teams, whole cloth, all five people are going to be the five-person team who wins the American Team Championship yeah. in February. Well, it's funny. if they're an American team. For, if some Canadians or some Bolivians yeah. come and win it, that means that the slot. You know, we're not going to have a Bolivian team win the championship and get the slot to represent America in the. W- we would have the the highest ranking. Nope. 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 It's first or nothing. Okay. If an American team gets second, fuck off. You didn't win. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan. You failed us is essentially what it's That like. is exactly the plan. Cause, cause so, yeah, there is no who was the highest because not only does that have impetus, but then you get like second and th- then you get it way into that strength of schedule thing. And you yeah. don't want strength of schedule deciding who gets that kind of a prize. Sure. No, there's an alternate system of strength of schedule I've heard is really good. Tell me more. Please <laughs> don't. <laughs> um, and then we're also going to have a, a single player uh, masters running at the same time and whoever wins that will also get a slot. So six of the either slot. ten or 15 slots. Not slit, slot. Slot? Slot. Yeah. Point is, six of the slots of the... <laughs> six of the... Not positions. Six of the openings? No. Six of the... Holes. Holes. Oh. Six of the vaginas for the Americas... <laughs> for the Wisconsin... For the World Team Championship. <laughs> Anus. I'm done. <laughs> we broke him! <laughs> I can't think of a non-euphemistic word for a membership on the team. (laughs) I feel wonderful. Jesus. (laughs) Zappity. Those were my two announcements. I don't know if we have any Zappity Grubbles, but... You didn't tweet it. 
I did. I tweeted. Oh, you did. Perfect. Well, I mean, we. Uh, well, I mean, we're, we're 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 trying not to to actually go over a ton of time today. We're well, pretty decent right so now. So Casey is a champion. Yep. I am. You guys, you can have a thin. You two played in a thirty-five point event yesterday. You guys had it was a pretty good turnout, wasn't it? So it wasn't a real tournament. (laughs) (laughs) Totally fair. You only say that because she beat you. Yeah. And you're like, if I had fifteen more points, that Ravagor never would have gotten me. Oh no, that that bronze back was dead no matter what. (laughs) He went down like a bitch. Was it four rounds? Three. Three Three rounds. Yeah. uh, The pair down won their. The pair down lost his game. Okay. And, yeah. uh, it's always fun when it happens. Like, ah, one last round of War Machine. No, yeah. matter, no matter how much you love playing War Machine, you love when events end early. Yeah. He uh, was newer and got minioned. Uh-huh. I don't remember exactly what shenanigan happened. Minions well, I think, are surprisingly he, good oh, oh, if you don't he know what's coming. He killed himself with ever, whichever... No, no, he didn't, he didn't kill himself with the Overload. He basically killed himself with the Overload and then rolled three and then rolled four and then failed to kill the caster. So it had I'm, nothing to do with minions at all. Yeah, no. Because they were talking. They were, I, I thought it did. I it's, love you, John Acker. I know, right? <laughs> See? Four times smarter than you, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair math. <laughs> See, initially what happened was they were talking about Barnabas being able to do Rise and then get thrown by one of his, or get thrown by one of his people, get risen up, mm-hmm. and then still charge in. Correct. So I assume that's what had happened. And then I remembered that's not actually what happened. Wow, the anecdote explaining the first anecdote was even better. I know, right? Thank you. Please tell me a third anecdote that explains the second anecdote. <laughs> Given enough time, I could probably think you're, of it. You were supposed to smile smugly and tilt your head. Because that's... <laughs> Guys! <laughs> so what did you play, Casey? God damn it! <clears throat> I played Legion. Which casters? I played Saren the whole time. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I, I had a thags list, but... Saren Wait, was one or two. beautiful. Thags one. Hmm. Yeah. Or been Saren one or Saren two. Theme one. force or non-theme force? <laughs> non-theme. Right. Yes. And you, def- you defeated John, and who else did you crush? I defeated Tyler, who plays Menoth. Okay. And I defeated Andy, who played Kador. I thought Legion doesn't like Menoth. It's the other way around. Or is it? Was that? Uh, well, generally, P- Protector it usually has yeah, you see, something that's yeah. So you need fire. It depends right. on what cast. And what was, mm-hmm. what was the other one you said? Kador. Butcher, right. right? He was dropping Butcher three. No, he dropped Sorsha. Oh, he dropped Sorsha into you. All right. Yeah, and he left her kind of wide open behind a wall and forgot my Ravagor does stuff. Ravagors do things. At thirty-five points, you, it's hard She's, to protect. Uh, you, the one thing about the wall, sorcerer should be like defense twenty or I something. I got around the wall, so she oh, didn't get okay. any buffs. <laughs> yeah, well, even even then, you, so you just drift. You're just drifting uh, auto fire template onto her, and, she'll and no. fire just destroys. Especially Sorsha. I mean, she's not very strong in that armor department. Fourteen, right? Yeah, she's yeah. She's like sixteen, fourteen, I think. I set nine things on fire yesterday and had zero fire damage rolls. So in my experience, fire is useless. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. Although you were saying something. No. I just got confused by a Ravagor hitting a defense 20 caster. <laughs> and so I had to double check that. the wall. <laughs> so that's good times. What did, they, did you get what did, uh, when, you, when, you, when you beat them? Did you just smack them and go, ha, suck it. That's what I do when I win games no. now. I went out and win as many games, so I have to. No, I'm not that kind of, All right. not that kind of girl. You should be. I mean, I, 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 as a person, I mean, a girl just, I mean, I just, yeah, slap people constantly. She gloated for. Well, that's ever. important. Yeah. Well, yeah. But you people suck. He got, he got killed by a Ravagor, too. <laughs> well, so that's a, as much as I prefer 50 for 35, 35, it's harder protecting, so it's more dangerous for both pl- it's, it's bo- It's more dangerous for both players. There's no keeping Tubby out of line of sight of a Ravagor at 35. Yeah. <laughs> Not when you have split zones. Did he die to fire? He died. Well, event, like, so what because, happened? Well, because he takes so little damage from shooting, doesn't Correct. he? Well, he, yeah, but when she has Saren plinking, or plinking at him, and then she's got the Ravagor plinking at him, oh, yeah, and then she's got a Carnivian that decides, hey, I can assault with a Spray 10. <laughs> and still get Tubby and your objective. Rashef. I, I know who I Tubby is. Name. I'm just thinking with one less die damage and a Kriya and uh, oh, all no, that. No, 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 the, the Kriya. You, you probably don't, don't have a Kriya, Kriya at 35. 35. That's part of the 35. Uh, yeah, you get like two bronze backs, a gladiator, a full unit of croak raiders that you're an idiot and decide to put tough on. Just, just hide them behind a forest. 
Dropping <laughs> dropping one of the bronze backs for more other stuff. No, I guess you. No, want you, the, you want you want the, the you want because yeah, yeah, you want to yeah. be able to get through their little defense as possible mm -hmm. theoretically. Yeah. Shenanigans. Take that, John. Yeah. Just take a steam force that has a building. Did Kerr have nice Just price supports? Right you got something cool and shiny. I got a first place pin. There you go. I don't have one of those. Or the one with like, the little two chains and the little dangly thing underneath it. Mm -hmm. nice. Dangly things. You got a second place one. Yeah, I did. Me too. Oh, us. <laughs> Take that, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Nathan and Andy went to a 50... Well, there was two tournaments in Wisconsin yesterday. Well, it's a mid... I think there was three, was actually. There might have been... Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was tournament day in Wisconsin. We ended up in Oshkosh at a... Uh, we only, I think was only, we only had like seven people show up for ours. Yeah, we <laughs> four, four were in That's our how car. Always yeah. Is. We outnumbered the locals. So And the know, locals weren't even meta. locals. Yeah. One, one, There's one, one, one person one. that was local and the rest were all out of town. Yeah, the local one's probably Kanan, I bet. Kanan yeah. is a local. Yeah. And he normally goes to all of them. Yeah. Do you play Signar? No, he no. plays Cater. He plays Cater. He's Cater. He's I know because yellow. I played him. I played three rounds and they it was all it was um Butcher no, it was uh fuck Vlad one, then Butcher three, then Butcher two. It was Kador, Kador, Kador. I was very sick of Kador by the end of the day. That was my first six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a good event for you, though. You only played three games? Mm -hmm. no. We only had three games, too, yeah. Yeah. Or as well. Your event. Yeah. For, oh, no, I was talking about for the six pack. pack. No, because no, there was five, five games. They were all five. Five rounds. Yeah. I played my first competitive game on machine like in a year. <laughs> it was quite weird. First game I actually tried for the first time like in two years. It was exciting. We actually had 10 people at our event, by the way. Nice. Yeah. That's good. I mean, Bear I knew moving. it was between 9 yeah. and 15. Yeah. It was. That's uh, good for Bear Boo. I mean, considering that, you know, the Madison, I mean, because usually between the Oshkosh and the Madison and the Bear Boo crew, you, you kind of get some crossover. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you guys still pulled a good amount, even though it's a multiple events going on. Well, it was uh, a and, lot of and, newer people, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it was the first time for a lot of people to play with clocks. So Kerr put on. An extra four? No, it was like no, an extra, extra eight, eight minutes. minutes. It's normally forty-two for thirty-five, and we added at fifty. In the in the I, in the uh, Milwaukee fucker. Didn't show up anywhere. That motherfucker! You told me five minutes, so I set all those fucking <laughs> clocks at forty-seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. Where's my clocks? Cause not my clocks, but Kurasm. On the bright side, his punishment was that he had to reset them all to <laughs> fifty. That's true too. No, no. John did. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! You are as dumb as Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I turned him on, and I'm like, this is not the right time. Where do you want these at? And he goes, uh, 50. Okay. I, I, yeah, he said, he was, I'm going to give him like five extra minutes for a round. I'm like, okay. So I set them all to 47. And that's good for new players. A couple of them were still 42. Like the first one I opened up was 42 still. Probably. But it, it was frozen, so I took out the batteries, put that's them back in, and it was back down to three. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Shenanigans. Happened. Shenanigans. Any highlight moments of, of, the, of your events? Any, anything that sticks out? Besides losing over there, <laughs> being a loser, killing a bronze back with my war spears. <laughs> that happened. And then killing the gladiator. With no, no, the no, war no, 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 no. The war spears did not kill the bronze back. It was the ravagor. The ravagor killed, killed the bronze back, and then the war spears killed the gladiator after yep. changing their prey. Also, <laughs> it's very important to remember war spears are scorn good. with the taskmaster. If there's a scythian across the board, do not tough them. Please just remember, do not tough them, guys. <laughs> just let them die naturally. <laughs> let them die. Because then he hits and they tough and you go, fuck. Yeah, yep. and, then, and then you lose. Tough, animus, tough. And then you lose yeah. 10. Yeah. yeah that Didn't do you. an animus. Oh, and then sure. you just got lucky on all I the other tough checks. I just didn't roll any of the tough checks. Getting the first one and then they tough and then you just use the animus and then they all just evaporate. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we it's were talking time. about that on the way here, actually. Yeah, because I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. She forgot that she could interrupt her attacks to do animi. Yeah. yeah. Shenanigans. And to, actually, he almost likes tough because then he can get off at uh, bloodbath. That, right, that's exactly what yeah. happened. Yeah. You want that first one in tough. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it did. And it did. <laughs> I saw someone use the animus before attacking a tough model the first time once, and I just wanted to punch him in the head. <laughs> like even though it was good for me that he, yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, that's such a bad play. I just want to hurt you as punishment. <laughs> Which castle did you play yesterday? Uh, I played the two that are on the the ADR for for the pig half of minions. So it's Arcadius and Helga. Uh -huh. And uh, was it the new Arcadius theme? Yeah, Nature of the Beast. Yeah. It was the the Arcadius list that everyone plays until the other lights come out. Because it's just two of every beast, six free razor boards, targ, and a minion and a grinders. That's like 
Good. just it's the default go to list with Arcadius now. Okay. There's pretty much no reason so to 12, not do that uh, exact same. Twelve points. Yes. Yeah. It's two razor, two road hogs, two war hogs, two gun bores, two gore axes, mini to grinders, targ, and six razor bores. So and yeah, all you get, the razor bores are free. Yeah. So you get twelve free points, which you yeah. know it's right up there with EE um, post errata, and it just plays really well. I, I mean, that was my moment of the day yesterday. Was a was having being dice plus four against a conquest is fun. And so having one heavy just walk up and one round of conquest using three of its fury is, is great. That's beautiful. What made it so hard hitting? The conquest is crippling grasp. Okay. So so you have war hogs, which are 16, 16, 15, and then can buy three attacks. So they've got six attacks. Yep. One of them's at one less, but let's just say 16 for now. Um, so they're a 16 against what's normally a 20. So that's dice minus four. Crippling grass, we're at minus two. Forced Evolution, we're even. Primal, we're at plus two. And the Rage Dial, you're at plus four. Oh, the Rage Dial. So it's six wow. attacks at... It's five attacks at dice plus four and one attack at dice plus three, which is... A lot of damage. Yeah. That's uh, 65 damage. Yuck. Yeah, and it happened. He went, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it to the other one next turn. <laughs> it's great. And then I did. Oh, so double conquest. Yeah. Yeah, it was two conquests with Butcher 3. But then my issue is I, I almost squandered the game because I fucked up because that left a giant wreck marker in the middle of a forest with Butcher on the other end of it. And I'm like, cool, I'm safe because I forgot that the dogs grant relentless charge. Uh. So he just charged straight in the middle of that wreck marker, dragged all my beasts in and killed all of them. So I was left with Arcadius, Targ, and two Razor Bars <laughs> as my army. But to be fair, that was against Butcher and his two dogs. Like, that was all we had on the table. Uh, and then luckily for me, he had pointlessly... So he charged Butcher right in the middle of the forest. He charged one of the beasts with one of his Argus just to hit it once, which was pointless because Butcher was about to attack 11 times and everything was going to die. So by moving that Argus up there for no good reason, I just crippling grasped the whole unit and then oh, just danced okay. in circles and laughed until it was over. <laughs> which made me very happy because if he had just left that Argus in his deployment zone... I lose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that Kanan? No, Kanan was Vlad 1, uh, who I should have killed because I had two primal, forced evolution uh, heavies go against a naked Vlad. Okay. And um, I missed boosted needing 10s seven times. Nines. 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 Yeah. I missed. I hit once out of like eight times. It was very depressing. And you remained calm. I, I yes yeah and then they both frenzied onto each other because he's immune to free strike so he just <laughs> ran out from in between them and then they just frenzied onto each other and so Arcadius was just running away from Vlad crying until uh, I could clear his own and just win on scenario. <laughs> my Carnivian killed my Scythian yesterday. Cause if you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't do that. No. <laughs> yeah, I was there, I'm like, what? How? Why? What? No, don't be alive. But he was. Sometimes so. people live. <laughs> I have, uh, I'm in, I'm, since I've been playing so long, I don't know what I'm doing, so I've been, I've been playing Infantry Heavy Scorn. That's, you know, I tell you, that's how you roll. That's my new, it's, that's the new thing. Carex. 2016 Carex. Carex OP. Carex. Yes. 20 Carex Teen. <laughs> yeah. I do have a second unit, though. I, 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 I might even get a second Reaver unit, I haven't decided. 20 Carex Gold. I'm debating my Makeda 1 theme. Okay. But yeah, no, it was, I had a fun day. I actually, uh, in my second round, I like I said, I, not only I was playing War Machine. First round, I took on a double storm wall. I killed one model, which was the objective in, in the game. I lost a bunch of models, killed the objective in one by scenario. I, just, I controlled the zone, kept on my. I basically shoved all my models on the other side of the zone and just slowly scored while he destroyed my army. I just stood back going, okay. <laughs> just, you know, he killed like 80% of my army and I won. Nice. Just, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, Both of my wins were scenario with like three models left on my in my army. So yeah. I literally killed none of his models and just I just kept throwing stuff at him. That's all I did. Uh, oh, go ahead. Which was my strategy in my last round. I guess Andy just keeps throwing things forward. <laughs> but uh, second round, I took on Jordan, our Doom, our Doom, our, our Doom Reaver uh, troublesome, who won the event. Uh, I lost the game, but I was when he he looked at our list and he he's like, oh man, your list is a joke. We sit down and I can I continue to just. From, from turn one to turn six, I'm just completely down. I have a hospital ground up in the middle. He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot that's a thing. And my Reavers are shooting behind the, the defended, defended Ward Carex, just clearing. There's no Doom Reavers that can get anywhere near me. His only threat the entire game is his caster and, uh, and Ruin, which is a real problem for me. 
and I was doing really well. I, I got him down. He was down to, on his last turn, he had 10 minutes on his clock. I had 24, 25 minutes on the clock. He was down on models. He was down on everything. I lost because he had Ruin still alive, and I, I needed my, I, instead of having my caster just run away, which I, I was debating, I tried to just put some more damage on Ruin, and I was, he, he was able to charge at a crazy angle with his caster, and he got two inches and a half a millimeter in charge range. Like, we literally had the judge out, we had lasers out, we had put proxy bases down, and <laughs> it was like, it was just a, any course rolled a six, if he would have rolled, like, low on, on focus he doesn't kill me and if he's you know that 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 half a millimeter is what got me he got max focus and he got max focus and it took all the focus because they had some transfers and it's still it's still he still barely got me but uh i i was still happy because i mean i like i said that's, that's the first game of that's the first game of war machine where i actually thought about what i was doing in probably a year and a half so if i had any more actual like rust non rust on me but he was not prepared for the because the Karax have set defense now which means doom rivers need sevens to hit and he hates when he has to roll even and then i put defenders ward on him so now he needs nines to hit and, and with inhospitable ground yep yeah, yeah and then ruin has a boundless which is dangerous so i i kept i kept the Karax, you know more i kept the Karax, you know you know that you know right at the 11 inch mark away from ruin so if he does come in he he comes in by himself with no support and then on the ends, I had Annihilators, which are fine. Then I had Praetorian Swordsmen, because they can do the... Swordsmen I like because you can go in, you can hit a model, auto-point it, move to the next model. We can, once a game, like, mini feats, pretty cool. Do but, you have a way to ramp up the damage the Reavers do? Uh, guns or melee? Guns, well, right? Because they're, the, they're the ones that are, like, plus two against large range, base, Yeah, right? they're sevens. They're, 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 they're tens against them. So, I, I mean, they only need fives to kill, fives to kill a Doom Reaver. No, 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 I'm talking about, about Ruin. Aren't they the ones that do more damage against big... Yeah, they get correct, plus correct. two he, damage. The, the, the Bampley plan was so covered. He had he actually chose to go second because he had a huge advantage on the train. So, I was kind of... Because he was able to keep his caster and Ruin completely safe from my shooting. Oh, okay. Uh, it was actually... It was quite annoying. He actually... He almost always takes first. I was like, oh my god, please take first. If I get that side of the table, you're heat. I, I probably don't even ever have a problem on the other side of the table because then the chart, the lanes are so tiny. If yeah. he's on the other side, he, he's just he's. I'm gonna, my caster would never be. The force would have kept me safe 100 percent of the game, uh, and I could have probably got up in scenario. It would have been amazing, but he was smart enough to realize the terrain. The terrain in Ashkosh, they have very large pieces of terrain, and they put a lot of it on the table. And I'm, I'm a fan of. I mean, I'm not someone to complain about terrain because I love terrain. But I like. I still try to keep. I still try to follow the rules of like the four to six inches per piece. Because the total the square footage being covered matters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I mean, you're talking about like twelve to fourteen inch forest. You're talking about huge. There's huge monstrous pieces everywhere. So I, I, I love the. I love that there's terrain everywhere and it mattered. But there was a. There was a little. Ex I mean, it was well beyond what the similar guidelines are heavy, for terrain. Uh, a bit heavy. Yes. I mean, the quantity of terrain was fine, the size of terrain, which was, was problem. But anyway, it was, it was still, a, like, I lost that game, but I lost it because I made a mistake. My list did exactly what it was supposed to do, was it handled the Doom Reavers. So now I, and Jordan is like, well, now I know if I, and now he might not even put the Doom Reavers on. If he sees that list, he might, not, he might go to other list because he knows that it's, he doesn't have an advantage against me in that list. And, and to take his, to have a non-shooty list... And, I mean, it has a little bit of shooting, but it's you know, it's still it's four units of melee. Still, it's you know, it's prim primarily melee. I have the legends of a lock. Which I say, I did you end up getting the legends in there? I have the legends in there. Uh, Andy, some, they're they're like the most insane. I mean, Andy probably can tell you how much fun they were to assemble. Uh, they actually weren't that bad. The only issue was is that the one that's got the giant spear on them yep. has got they cut the spear in half. Yeah. On what? it. So like the, he has his long bits? spear. So he has one arm that's attached up over here, and his other arm's holding the spear like this. Yeah. And it's just cut off at his chest. Yeah, the spear is really weird. I saw that. I'm it's like, I'm it's like so that. stupid. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, I'm giving this to Andy. Yeah, <laughs> you need to give that back because I haven't put, uh, I haven't sealed up that uh, the split. Oh, I didn't do that yet. But uh, it's it's a. I, I kind of like legends. I mean, I mean, I, I even when I first looked at them, I said they're probably a good million, and that's what they are. But I really, if if they had two things, I would love them. If they a said Praetorian because I think they could be cool to fit in some theme forces. I mm -hmm. wouldn't. It wouldn't make any theme force they could go into. You know. Would it turn up, we're in a two eleven broken, but it would be it would add some interesting elements, a couple of theme forces mm -hmm. that could use some kick. And if more than one model had reach, I think, because they could flank with each other. They do have sidestep which can help on this multiple attacks to get it, but if the first attack misses, it doesn't matter about the other attacks. The guy with one attack has reach, has reach and the guy the two guys without without reach have you yeah, know there's like two dudes with swords and two dudes with like Molly looking things. Yeah. So one or thing I have to mention one dude with two and one dude with two. Yeah. 
Fuck those guys with Defender's Word on them. I, against Andy, I literally... Because I, I actually used Train of My Advantage. There's a forest, and then... I'm, well, because against Andy, I've actually played on the same table I played against Jordan, and I got the side I want. I, flipped, I switched sides. Yeah. Because I, I, <laughs> I understood the problem. So I used a forest, and then there's a four, big, huge forest, and I put the three Defended Warded uh, those guys base-to-base. Base. So, they're, yeah, they're 17-17. Even even when they're crippling grass, we're down to 15. So Mechathrill still need huge numbers to get them. So they just they just held the line for an entire like those three miles just held back the Crick's army, and one of them made it the entire game. So. Even feeded and crippling grass will be defense 13. Yeah, Wait, yeah. So you need eights to hit them. Yeah, they, they Under, just, feeded I, and crippling grass. We need eights to hit them. I yeah. did. I did. Well, he finally. Well, I did kill two of them on under that turn. Though, yeah, but, but they, they, but they, they I was it. using Denegro using uh, sprays and it them. was them, and then it was still your, it was still them and guys shooting. It was pretty good. It was it was pretty great. The le- so I, I I I do enjoy them. I think they like I said. I wish they sit Praetorians on there, or I wish you know even if two had reach, but. They're interesting. I still don't know if my list. I, I'm really thinking of keeping my my, my Xerxes list the same, but actually doing double uh, annihilators and getting rid of my Praetorians. I like the Praetorians. I don't know if I like them enough because having that extra mat would be nice. Because I mean, when you have two attacks and your mat six and you need sevens hit, you're only going to do yeah. that. You're not going to do that that often. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're going to berserk, getting two sixes is a hell of a lot better than getting two sevens. And then you're tough and whatnot, and you're fearless. Because I mean, I have a Tyrant Commander in that list, and that Tyrant Commander is keeping three of my units fearless. So that's like the most that's like the most critical model in that list is that is that standard bear who just sits behind Xerxes. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was uh, it was fun to actually play a game of War Machine and actually like uh, and think and, and plot and, and now I've been you know. Oh I'm good! I'm prepared. happy that you had that. Yeah, it's good times. You know. And Jordan was like he was he was like flustered. Yeah, he, he, I've never seen Jordan like just have to sit at the table for so long. He did He was like he didn't know what to do multiple turns in a row. It was uh, quite I, enjoyable to have him just completely uh, <laughs> baffled. I desperately wish you had won that game. I would have liked to play the championship match against you instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, I mean, if I was, I mean, I guess it, it's not. I felt it was pretty good. I was I had the upper hand, and then it was just, just, just rust of uh, not playing for so long. Because I knew when I was going at Ruin, I'm like, this does not feel right. Like I, I just didn't. I, even though I was, I was like, I Ruin had just killed so many miles a turn before. Because I, I, I had fed Ruin. I, I made a mistake. I was charged into Ruin because my Carex actually charged out because everything in front of them was dead except for Ruin and Fenris. I had shot Fenris with my my Reavers and I had a shit damage where it left him at one. And then my uh, Carex went into him and Ruin. I missed even combining missed Fenris. Ugh. And then I rolled bad on on on, on Ruin. Like if those two things had rolled average, I, he would have lost Fenris. Because Fenris survived, sweeped, gave Ruin a bunch of souls, and Ruin activated, and was able to do a bunch of stuff, and then he was able to come in on the feet and kill more. So I lost like ten extra models because of that random nonsense. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, he's even then he, his entire center is gone, and then I just start scoring points. Gotcha. But no, it was great. It was it was just, it's because I mean, if anyone was Jordan, he's he's very methodical, and he just he just keeps applying more Doom Reavers, and he gets it down. He just didn't know. He was just like trying to figure out nonsense, and he was like, it was just fun to watch him fall into that fall into that uh, shenanigans. Well, next tournament, I'm going to borrow some of your gators so I can play that Barnabas list I made. <laughs> That'll beat them. Well, I've got... I've got <laughs> You'll keep it, too. Do you have no vaults? Huh? Is it the vault list? Yeah. I think you're going to lose a scenario. Was it two or three vaults? Three. three. <laughs> I think I'll still lose to do... If, if I think I think there are a couple scenarios that Doom Reavers are still better than certain things. I think if you if you face him and you're fighting the three flags, you'll probably lose. But if you can get, like, a destruction or you can get a certain... There's certain, there's certain scenarios where if you... Like, I, I feel... You could just run right over them. Yeah, your, your, your little it's a, luck of the draw and scenario for that matchup. Yeah, three, three flags fine. would be the hardest. I mean, the vaults just have to each be within four inches of a flag. Yeah, mm-hmm. they can do that. That's not too yeah. hard. I think it's still. I mean, well, ruin, I guess against well, him, yeah. yeah. He has two models that can hurt them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to figure ruin's going to take out one, and you just where you have to you have to kind of guess where ruin's going to have because you have one unit gate him, right? Right, and they'll fill that gap because they'll be defense 16, which he needs nines to hit with his Doom Reavers, and I can put two um, uh, swamp pits in front of him, and he's not rough. Ter- he doesn't have Pathfinder, so wherever oh, so he wherever he down. wherever he kill ruin and butcher are the only things that have Pathfinder in that list. So if they kill one of the th- one of those, I just have to block off that gap with the rough with the swamp AOEs, yeah. and then defend it with with the defense sixteen Gators. It'd yeah. be an interesting match to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll play it. But that's all. I, I'm, I'm done with Formation. Do you have three uh, three uh, no, sacral vaults? I do not. What the fuck. Rick has four. All right. That's, all right. That's, <laughs> that's, that's not true. One is only three are playable. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. So now I'm going. I'm just dojo in my head. All these other sorts of shenanigans things. I got to figure out all sorts of shenanigans. I got a Makeda one theme for some. My brain is mixing around in my head. Andy. Yeah. 
my my venture into twenty Crickstein has uh, has been been uh, not not fruitful. <laughs> I actually it was fine. It was fine. Um, my first game, um, which I haven't played my Cricks in probably two three years, probably even longer than that. Because I at, before then I was playing my Mercenaries. Before I played my Rat, I was playing my Mercenaries. So. Um, my two casters I took, I took Denegra 1, which is a shooty Denegra 1 list with a lot of mercenaries. Not pirate mercenaries, but mercenaries. Niss um, and Boom Hunt Howlers, right? Yeah, Niss Boom Howlers, and then, you know, uh, Devil Shadow, some fixins in there. Um, I actually took two Pistol Race, um, which, honestly, it, even in my game against Brian, did were, were amazing. Of course, Brian couldn't roll shit to try to hit them with combined range attacks. Well, to be fair, yeah, I, I, I was doing <laughs> boosted sprays on him, and I was doing like four man, five man CRAs at him and dismissing. So they they may have lived the next couple turns, and they should have. But correct, uh, correct. But they they I mean they did well enough for me in, in a sense. Um, my first game, there was a potential misplacement of of Iris, which I didn't catch it until after he allocated focus. And which that he won the game because of that, because he had a, a jack that had had uh, had a spring on it that could bump. I had had uh, him completely blocked from the zone. I was dominating that zone, um, and the spring was able to the bump, bump and get into the zone, and then just punch uh, Denegra in the face. Mm. So he won that uh, second game. Um, I actually had Kador pretty much down to the wire, and for some odd stupid reason, instead of just sitting back and taking, you know, just being patient and just winning the game, uh, I decided, like, oh, well, Vlad doesn't have reach. Well, and neither does the Jack next to him. Well, I'll charge him and I'll shadow bind both of them. And then they'll be helpless. <laughs> then they'll be helpless. <laughs> so they'll just be sitting in my face. I'll just, next turn, I'll just corner him with the rest of my shit. This is a flawless plan, 2015, this is, Andy. <laughs> this, is, this is a flawless plan. Also, when I rolled up, I forgot that he had the dog, so he was defense 17 versus Denegra's mat 5. Sure. So I needed 12s. I wasted all my attacks to try to hit him. As I'm rolling my last boosted attack to try to hit him, I suddenly realize, wait, wait a second, Shadowbind could be shaken. <laughs> so I'm like, this, this, this plan was the worst plan in the world. Uh, in general, it was the worst plan in the world. I, there was no reason for me to do what I did other than to be silly. Um, so that, that game didn't go very well. And then my game against Brian, Brian made me think a lot, so I wasted a lot of time staring at the board because he had terrain set up very nicely against me. But of the three games, I think you were saying that it was the one that you most felt you were playing correctly. You yeah. were just playing slowly, and that's a good sign of, of a sign of rust I, uh, and, and learning. I felt, I felt like I was playing well. I mean, be, besides Brian not being able to kill off my two pistol race that... I think one took out uh, his Tyrant Commander, I think, eventually. Yeah. And then the other one took out Marketh after opening up some reins. But I felt I played it well. And had I had more time, I think I might have had a good chance to to possibly win it. Yeah. I mean, my strategy, when your feet turn took 25 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to try to win anymore. I'm just going to keep... Sh I'm like, everything, I'm just, I'm just throwing my army at him because I think I think he's going to tie himself. So I just... Literally, I was like just bodies on bodies was all I was doing. Well, you also made an issue with me too, is I had to try to try to get because you killed off my Scarlet Commander, uh, which caused oh, half of my all my brute thro all my mechanic throws to be out of formation. Yeah. Oops. So, so yeah, I'm like, I'm like where's where I'm, I saw the mechanic. I'm like, I think the leader's in the corner, and I'm like, I'm gonna. Where's that? <laughs> he pointed out to me. He was like, Oh, which one is your leader? After I kill the Scarlet Throne, I'm like, Oh, the one that's all the way over to the left. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so yeah, good times. But yeah, it was good. I felt good. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to playing them some more. I think that next time around they'll be really fine. So yeah, that's it. We, uh, we should stop talking about War Machine. We've yeah. been talking about War Machine for a while, <laughs> except for we should talk about some War Machine. What's that? Is that the Grumbles? No, not not that many Grumbles. Um, but uh, so there was a couple things that happened a couple hours ago. Uh, from the privateer press, small con. Ah, uh, there were rumors yeah. and rumors. Are they even that rumors? Like the one they saw was. Never mind. Go ahead. You guys oh, I, I just have some of the stuff. Yeah, There's, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. If this is all hearsay, but um, some of the things that that play test starts on New Horde's faction and the return from small con. Um, I don't know if I believe that, considering they're usually like two, three years ahead of time. Yeah. For their stuff. It may be <laughs> so maybe that's new hordes faction three years from now correct i mean correct. so then that's not anything to be excited about uh one of the other things mentioned was carver on a boar boar chariot yeah uh theme force leveling adjustment to happen in the future 
which is interesting, I guess. Which, I would love a theme force adjustment. I mean, I like theme forces. I, I don't mind them. I mean, I've complained about. I mean, there's. I think they've been like they 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 fixed the one crazy one. I. The problem is, there's a percentage breakdown where like some percentage of theme forces are terrible. Yep. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. percentage of theme forces are legitimately different experiences <coughs> and can be balanced with playing out of theme. Yep. And some percentage of theme forces ruin the fucking game. Yeah. Yep. It, it's it's odd because I remember when I mean we all the forces of War Machine forces of Hordes games came out. It was really the, the books came out. They were really more. The theme force and they were just not really if, that great. If, if Mark 2.5 was just here are all new theme force, we, we treated every single theme force, and that's all it was. Was that game is basically the and same. the errata yeah. all printed yeah. into it. The errata printed into it, and the theme force is just redone. That'd be a thing. I think one thing I had to rant, but I, I would love to see a point cap. Like I love point reduction and some free models is cool, but I think at some point, like like you said, one list can go 12. Points. 12 free points yeah. is pretty absurd. So I mean, it, it's not the greatest miles in the world, so it kind of balances out in some ways. But like fifth gets can get like seven or eight free miles. Points values are pretty amazing. Well, yeah, if, you're, if you're spamming the like, there's a reason EE had to get hit. Yeah, I think there should be some kind of cap. You get free points up to X, whatever X is. Doom Reavers are a point off in that yep. list. Like yep. that's pretty. Oh, like yeah, yeah. I think I think maybe like and again, I think it would require play testing and testing, but like, like five points max. Because I mean, even five points extra is amazing. I mean, it's yep. amazing. There's some theme force where you, just, you only get two or three points, but it's key models, so it's amazing. But I think I think it needs to just be a theme force cap. Like you get X amount of free points up until. Well, I remember wow. how excited I was that Midas got a free beast, and his his is dead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that was huge. That was oh my god, that's up to eight free points, yeah. and you don't even have it. Yeah, <laughs> I was still excited. With the, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. That, that's that, that would be neat, but who knows? They'll, well, do, they'll the, do. The argument is is whether the point system should be a, an even playing field. Like that's the tangible proof yeah. that you and your opponent. Are equal. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like assuming point, assuming models are pointed correctly. If you have fifty and I have fifty, our armies should be equivalently good. Correct. But if you have fifty and I have sixty-five, uh, I'm going to win. <laughs> like, like unless you have some benefit that's worth fifteen points, which we can't guarantee you're in theme force, so that's not a fixing thing. So then the flip side has to be that I have a drawback that is costing me fifteen points. Well, I'll stop which would be let's go with actual twelve. Well, yeah. So let's go with Arcadius, or you know, that's twelve points I have. So there has to be a drawback that's hurting me. I'm losing out on twelve points, right? Yeah. But I'm not. Like my restrictions are take all the shit I want anyway. Like oh, I can't take brigands. Why would I want brigands with Arcadius? Oh, I can't take I can't take shit I don't care about taking. You know, like the first, the, the the poster boy at the very beginning was Shay. Mm -hmm. Shay's yep. theme force when it came out was take the best theme for take the best Shay list you can possibly take. Here's eight free points. No, five. Five, whatever. Five free points. Yeah, it, the, it was already the list that good players were taking, and yep. it just got five free points, which meant that it was there was no thought, there was no drawback, there was no balance. You got you got extra benefits for taking the same things you yeah. normally took. And so you have to be careful. If you're giving something as powerful as 6, 8, 10, 12 free points, they have to be suffering hard Some way. to earn that. To, to make it so, the, I mean, that was the reasoning. That was kind of why we, when we were playing back then, it was theme forces were more of, oh, you just want to play that as for fluff. Because yeah. that's, that's the, their thematic army that they would, they would have. I, don't, I think the reason why Doom Reavers, I don't want to see getting hit as compared to EE, is that EE was one of those things you're playing trolls? You're, like, you're playing trolls. That's you. You take this list, sure, or you take Runes of War, and I think that's the reason why those got hit as compared to you're playing Kador. Well, you have to take this Doom Reaver spam list, right? Yeah, you don't really see that that much. We have the plague here. Not, I don't think Just it's a plague anymore. Well, none men, of us played the counters to it. The thing is, people here, the things that there are multiple. Li well, here, so Rhett. Rhett can blow the living shit out of Doom Reaver from spam. Correct. But because Jordan knows that his counter list to his Doom Reavers is his, inf his, his Iron Fang Pipemen, which rape those type of anti-Doom Reaver. <laughs> so, I mean, you get the anti-Doom Reaver list put on the table, and then his, his other, he just brings other list out, and then he just rolls over the Rhett. I mean, uh, which is fine. I mean, you have to play, that's where all this ch list chicken comes in. You know what his Doom Reaver, you know what his Pikemen list doesn't go over? Three sacral vaults. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But I mean, but it, yeah, so anyway, what else? Are you, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I would just try to run through these a little bit quicker. It sounds like that uh, Agatha uh, is taller than Denegra, smaller than Terminus. I don't know how that's a newsworthy tale, but uh, Lich Lord Mort Nebra uh, may, may have been a typo. 
People weren't so excited about that. Yeah. People weren't so excited about Lich Lord Morton Ebra. Yeah. Um, it sounds like that the Hydra taught them hard lessons that will pay off in the future colossal releases. Context indicates that relates to manufacturing delays, not rules or balance. So, oh. and, and there has been a huge delay in that. I mean, we saw the Hydra last year at Adepticon. Yeah. yeah. We well, luckily the, the rules for it are pretty shitty, so they can take as long as they want. <laughs> take your time, PP, in that uh, Dracodile, the blind water gargantuan, has appeared on dropped off the release schedule multiple times. Um, Allison Jakes, I guess, is in her playtest as Dracodile. a full caster form. What? Dracodile. Godzilla. Well, I know what it is. Okay. They're, oh, they're, they're actually doing a colossal? Yeah, it sounds like it. Rumored. That's not a pig. It, well, it was, it was listed in the books in the Monster Nomicon. Everyone, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. everyone was saying, it was like, oh, this needs to be blind water. So I guess maybe they were thinking about it and just haven't. I might start playing blind water. I don't know why I'm so against it. I like gators in real life. Actually, that's not true. I like crocodiles in real life. I think gators well, are sure. shitty crocodiles. Gators <laughs> are, the, are the amazing side of the minions faction. So, I think not. I think I think a good minions list would have one of each. I think that is that is definitely true. They have different strengths. Yeah, uh, pigs have definitely some. Ironically, not ironically, I think when they fight against each other, I think pigs beat gators. But you're right that they have different strengths. So a, a mm -hmm. smarter person than I would have one of each list. So. Allison Jakes supposedly is going to be a new ca full caster. Um, Maybe I'll buy all your gators. No. When you get out of War Machine. You were going to quit War Machine. I would actually sell my gators. For, well, uh, the thing is, I sell my gators, but, not, but none of them that work for Scorn, so I don't want your goddamn thing. They, they for your gators. For Scorn. Yeah. I'll trade you this for your gators. No. <laughs> I, but, uh, yeah, but I'm saying the miles that work for Scorn, I wouldn't sell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is a lot of them, yes. actually. <laughs> so... Um, and I guess plan is in place for errata card conflict, and I think that's the bit, biggest best news I've seen because that errata document is pretty fucking large. It is cool to have War Room. Not everyone uses War Room. Well, the errata, that plan should be 2.5, and then boom, here's all the card sets. Yeah. It's, it here's, all, here's, like, here's, all your, here's all your reprinted theme forces, and here's all your new, uh, here's all your new cards. It's like I'm looking on certain of my cards I haven't pulled out in a while for my, my cricks. I'm going, is this a errata card? I don't know if I have... And then I look at War Room and I'm like, well, fucking Musa Minis, they're talking, they're talking about Zaltu's theme. It's like how all these things it does. And I'm like, well, that sounds really good. I started making a, look, a list. I look, look, up at, look it up in, uh, in War, War Room. Room. I'm like, well, this does not say at all what they, did, what they just said. And I'm like, well, is there a typo in War Room? Is, I, don't have a, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't bought a book in 10 years because I have War Room. I'm not going to buy the books anymore. I'm not sure. an idiot. So I, I, I'm like, Ooh, and I have to search the internet, and I find out that they're just, you know, making up shit. They're just making up everything. <laughs> they're making nice. up all this nonsense that doesn't match with it. So, but I, I didn't know if War Room was wrong. We're they were wrong. You? You? No, no, they just, they just missed them. They like, they watched. I mean, someone did really good at, at uh, Captain Con with with Zal too. Oh, so they just like were they were, they were just being dumb. Yeah, he had like plus this and plus this. It was amazing. I mean, the guy still did great. He's still really good with Zal too, and he did some really cool things. It just wasn't as cool. They were <laughs> they were they were mismatching games and, and results and things and strategies like yeah it was on like a, it was it was so by the time you, you like dissected it I, you know i had to figure out what was actually happening the the it was like telephone let so, me, somebody point out that that this is the longest it has ever been without a new deck of cards for war machine yes well they've only came out with well they had two sets in the merc one yeah right? the original black and white ones then they went to the color mm -hmm. uh then they had uh a the mark, mark II two cards. deck of color then they, which was the Mark II deck, not the car, the deck for Mark II. Correct. Because then, then they switched to the deck for Mark II, <laughs> and then we haven't had another deck since then. And then right. that's been the longest time. And so they, it would be super good if they put out a deck that had all the cards that had around them. And I would also like, just from having played Legacy games and stuff like this, I don't see a reason for them not to include stickers to put in the book. For when they've actually changed the rules, or yeah, stickers, or even, or even just a re-release of the book itself. Yeah, I mean, or in yeah. a PDF form. I mean, because I mean, even the the rules. Well, the, they they have the books in the PDF form. They do have them, but they're not they're not updated with Arata. Are they not? I wish Worm yeah. had the re War Beast rules in them because I'm always, I, every so often I want to. I, I can't remember if a War Beast unit they count as a unit. They count as a troopers and. They are troopers, yes. I'm trying to think of Xerxes one. They can walk through each That's other. That's why you can revive them. Yeah, I know. I know I can revive. I was I was trying to make sure it works for Xerxes one's uh, martial discipline. I was trying to. Figure I thought martial discipline said warriors. But they yeah, they're, they're not they're... warriors. They're troopers. Okay, that's, yeah. tr that's probably then one. Yeah, because I was I was just thinking of having like a whole line of army with an entire line of scarab swarms behind them. It would be no. hilarious to see. Because I mean, I, I do have my you know seven units of scarab swarms. I need to pull up more often. 
Did Andy already assemble all yeah, those? they're assembled. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sunhammer. You, you still have not. You. Oh, jeez, yes. <laughs> no, they, they, they have eight holes <laughs> each. I don't care. They'll die in, you know, eight, three yeah. to eight turns. Yeah. All right, that's all I got. Sappy? Anything else in there? That's I'm trying to look here. See Katie, talk about something while he's doing that. Katie? <laughs> By Katie, I'm, I said Casey. I just stuttered. Uh-huh. And be a little louder because uh-huh. you're quiet. Uh-huh. Talk Say Casey. something. All right, got, it, got it. Oh, he saved you from having to talk. Good. Do any know. of you play X Wing? If so, what do you like about it? And what do you like to play? The X Wing versus Tie Fighter. Those games were great. Well, he's talking about the miniature game. I'm sure. No, let's so talk the, about the PC game. You know, I never played. It was them. an amazing PC game. That's back still. when You need like DOS disk to like load up your yeah. game. And I, and I, I made many, but I never, I never got an X Wing. I was, it's a failure in my life. I you prefer were a Wing Commander Man. <laughs> I, well, I did play all the fucking Wing Commander games. Yeah. Oh my god, so many hours. Wing Commander. You love the movie. It's there amazing. is a new <laughs> game that's being made that has Mark Hamill in it. That's that's like a space game. I can't. Oh god damn it! So all this I need to write was so space games. It used to be all cockpit view and it was great. Wing Commander, X Wings. Now all the all the space games are like third person, and I'm like I don't want third person space. I want to be in the cockpit. E Co- Valkyrie cockpit. Yeah. E like Valkyrie a is a. Uh, <laughs> I think it might only be for the Oculus Rift though. But that's in the cockpit. <laughs> the Ooh. fairly priced Oculus Rift. What's yeah. It, what's it cost? 600 bucks. Oh, nice. But it's for virtual reality things. So, like, you actually pretend like you're flying. It's for a four inch TV you wear on your face. Exactly. Virtual reality. <laughs> yeah, I can buy, like, a rubber band and a PSP for a lot cheaper than $600. I heard that it's PCP. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy, I can a, buy a rubber band, time. a PSP, and some PCP for a lot less than six hundred dollars, and some LSD, which Man, is the thing that you would actually want. I want to watch you in that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me tripping on LSD with a PSP rubber band into my face. Yeah, that's worth a Kickstarter goal. Yeah, yeah, that's a stretch goal. All right, anyway, sorry. What's 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 that piece? Oh, I, I, oh, that's, oh there was the a, answer is Armada. The answer is Armada. <laughs> Which we got to play, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it was in my car trunk for the longest time. It's still there? Not right Put now. Put it back in the trunk. I All will. Right. Zappity. <laughs> Grumble. Also, as far as X-Wing goes, I don't like the maneuverability of the ships. They're too maneuverable. Yeah. In the game. They're just... That's why I played X-Wing, answer. and then I played Star Trek, and for some reason, Star Trek died, and X-Wing survived. Well, Star Trek killed themselves competitively because in Star Trek, the prize support was like, here is a special die you get that you can use in all your games that's better than the other die. Oh. And so <laughs> you, you, you would, you'd play in events for Star Trek and literally get things you could use in game that made you better than your opponent. That. That's terrible. Yeah, it, it was pretty it, horrible. It, it, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, there's no... What? <laughs> That'd be like if the gold cards in Mark 1 had higher stats yeah. than the normal cards. Yeah. Since you're already a winner, here's another advantage. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Guess what sells for a lot of money? <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. Anyway, so we, did you lose the rest of the Zephyr Grumbles, or we just have one? I don't think we have any. No, oh, well, there we go. It's simple. I, I want to give proper credit, though. Basically, that whole list was given uh, was posted by Chain Attack. Though, Good too. job, Chain Attack. From you the guys Swan Con. Are awesome, except for the some of you that aren't. What? Well, hey, I like at least fifty percent of Chain Attack. <laughs> I. How many guys are on Chain Attack? Three. So. Three. I, I, would, I just want to share this. Your puppy's huge, by the way. She's fucking gigantic now. Is it a now. puppy anymore? When did Kaya get that big? I don't know. But so her Kong was empty, and Raylene was going to go fill her Kong with peanut butter, but the peanut butter jar was almost empty, so Raylene's solution was just to throw the jar of peanut butter on the floor <laughs> and let the dog just skip out the middleman. I mean, it's basically the solution. Yeah, you don't need a Kong. So you guys you just check shove your, your peanut, face brand, in the peanut butter. You know, some peanut butter. Bear, bear. Some of that's bad for dogs, you know. That she you know. hasn't died yet. But I mean, there is. You want to check the name. You want to check the peanut butter because certain peanut butter is very bad for dogs. Mm-hmm. How? True. There is a chemical in some peanut butter that will kill your dog. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't know which. I don't have a dog, so I can't tell you which ones. I just yeah. know. That's helpful. Ask Katie. Katie. Katie I, I, I told. Well, I, I just know because Katie. They they had to verify because there was a big thing about certain peanut butter. butter. Yeah, Katie actually mm-hmm. was using some of that peanut butter, right? Yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. So you got to be careful. It's you know. Just a FYI, hey, there's your wisdom in the world. If you give your dog peanut butter, you uh, should not. Okay. So recommendations? Recommendations. Recommendations. <laughs> John, recommend something. I recommend not making your units tough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, specifically against a Scythian. No, no, Correct. In, in gen- no, just in general. Just in general in life. Just in, in, get rid of tough. tough is- <laughs> also, go back and look at some of the lyrics for the old songs that you listened to growing up. They're a lot dirtier than you remember. Like the 90s, 
What what was that song we heard? Ah, uh, crap. I didn't grow up um, in the 90s. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. But yeah. Oh, I forgot. You I gotta can't. lick it before you stick it. You gotta get it soft and wet before we kick it. No, um. Because that was dirty. Did you have it on your phone? Like, from I when, got rid when of you it. looked at it earlier? Can't you go backwards? I'll try. Right, we so were discussing us. that the 80s comedies were a lot rapier than you remember. They are very rapey, and it's also very stalky. I'm very sad. I, I mentioned that I grew up uh, with a single, with just, yeah. just my mom, and uh, a guy I didn't really date a lot. So all my, all, everything I got from advice was off of like all, all the 80s romantic comedies, which is all about like rape and stalking. And I didn't, you know, so I was like, why don't girls <laughs> like me? All I want to do is stalk him and rape him. I don't get why. Why aren't I? It was 16 Candles and Revenge of the Nerds yeah. are the two that we took. Two biggest offenders that really we can think of. And back then, I'm like, no, not kind of. <laughs> he puts on a mask and pretends to be her boyfriend so that he can have sex with her against her will. That is absolutely, and then she decides she likes it, so it's not a problem. Right. Ditto 16 Candles, yeah. where he gets the woman so drunk that she thinks that he's her boyfriend, so he has sex with her, and then she's like, you actually were kind of okay, so it's not rape anymore retroactively. Yeah. And, and that's, and I agree, that, that's, that's what taught me sex ed, <laughs> when was, the woman was the wakes, race films. When the woman wakes up from the roofie-induced coma, you go, but did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> no no takesy backsies. Yeah, I had problems growing up. I blame it all on John fucking Hughes. <laughs> you son of a bitch. The song was uh, Semi Charmed Life by Third Eye Blind. Oh, a lot of their songs, like, they made it into, like, the top 40s. And you just, you heard it all over the place. Yeah. And you realize when you're finally, like, 10 years later, 15 years later, that song's about doing drugs. Holy shit. Why yeah. was that on the radio when I was in sixth grade? Lust for Life by Iggy Pop they have in like bank commercials and that's about how much he loves heroin. The whole <laughs> fucking song is hooray for heroin and they're playing it on cruise ship advertisements. If you're going to be on a cruise ship, why not take some heroin? <laughs> it's, it's legal. It, it's, it's legal. You're in, you're in international waters. You can do whatever you want. Holy shit. I can do all the heroin. I want. Why aren't there heroin stores on cruise ships? Well, because then they have to close shop. And when they go to port. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're going to sneak it onto the ship. That's hard. If you can get onto the ship, it's You legal. have a boat out there filled with heroin, <laughs> and the cruise ship goes out there and just throws over a ladder and pulls up the heroin, and then you just do all the smack you want during the cruise. I think we just found a way to make a lot of money. <laughs> Holy shit. Why yeah. isn't this a thing? We need to ship it some money. And maybe, hookers. Maybe Because they're not illegal. Yeah. Like, they can be, like, you can have the hookers right guess, there on land. And, uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, wait. One more nautical mile. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. <laughs> and then... I'm, I, I'm sure not. there's probably something that we're not understanding about international. It's that you can do anything you want. Here. There's no law. Monkey <laughs> knife fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure there is something we are not understanding about I'm international. Pretty waters. sure you're still beholden to the laws that your boat is registered to. I don't think so. I think it's called international waters for a reason. That's why pirates still exist. It's, it's yeah, legal oh, out yeah. there. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's have fair. you not seen Captain Ron? <laughs> I don't think I have. No. Oh my god! You or someone with gorillas in the mist. <laughs> you haven't. You've haven't lived until you've seen Captain Ron. Yeah. What is Captain Ron? Fuck you, Casey. What's your recommendation? I recommend that we move WTC to a different weekend so everyone can see Ramstein. <laughs> we can see Ramstein. We just can't see Corn and Nickelback. Slipknot. Same thing. <laughs> it's Nickelback with shitty masks. We've been over this. <laughs> They're all right masks. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a there's an angsty twelve year old boy. Torquey yeah, answer. I saw. Right. He's Australian. I don't trust him. <laughs> yeah. I recommend Final Fantasy Record Keep. Well, your recommendation should just be Rammstein in general because they're fucking amazing. Yes. And uh, and what's his face? You know the guy. Lindman. Lindman. Lindman also, which is basically Rammstein, but just the guy. Or Leibach. Sure, I'll go with that. <laughs> um, should listen to Leibach ones. <laughs> it's not very good. Final Fantasy Record Keeper, it's a shitty phone game, you know, free to play, but they try to get you to just give them money, and so I'll be bored of it in three months, because I always download one of those, play the fuck out of it, and then get bored of it, because there's no such thing as finishing it, and so I realize that I'm not going to do something that never has an end. But this one might actually have an end, because there's a finite number of missions, so I'll look into that longer. The point is, it's just like those, except it's all the Final Fantasy characters and all the Final Fantasy series plot lines, and it's fun to mix and match and play like a team with, like, Rydia and X-Death and and Sephiroth going through Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's whatever. It's something to play while you're shitting. <laughs> I pooped today. So, like, instead of Clash of Clans, you should do Final Fantasy Record Keeper. 
I have two recommendations. One's small. Uh, I have an iPad game I've been playing. I got yes down. I downloaded a few days ago. I started playing a lot yesterday. It was uh, the, it was uh, it was Death Galaxy Wood. Trucker. No, no, no. The uh, Death Galaxy uh, Trucker was good though. The Galaxy Trucker is a great. Figure out yeah. how it actually works. I bought an Death expansion Death. with my prize money. <laughs> Warhammer uh, 40k Death Watch is a fun game. It's like it's like XCOM but with just you know 40k Space Marines and it's Tyranids, right? It's Tyranids. Yeah, it's Tyranids. Tyranids. Death Watch. It's and it's a, a bigger map. It's kind of like Space Hulk, but it's just bigger maps. And you can level up and customize characters, and you have a lot more a lot more advancement in your character. It's a kind of cool game. I wonder if that's that's built off of uh, the original. It was Death, not Death Watch. But it was Death Gate. Yeah, uh, he's 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 probably calling back. To, he's calling back to. He's, 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 okay, he's trolling. I'm thinking he's calling back to what? Because I asked you who that was once. I think I think he's he's calling me or or he's trolling you. I don't know which. So that's my first one. My second one is Hulu has a Stephen King show called Eleven Twenty Two Sixty Three. Yeah. Based on his book, which I've not read, which I feel I've always heard was a great book. I I read all Stephen King up until somewhere in the mid '90s, and I stopped, and now I'm like literally like a thousand and eight books behind. And it drives me insane. And I know some of them are still really good, but uh, it's a TV show on Hulu. It's going to go on like I don't know, maybe ten weeks. I don't know if it's going to cover the entire book or if it's season one. Which I think, when something is based off a book, it should just be one season and done, and be cool, and they can do another Stephen King book the next season. But uh, it's a uh, well, because it's Stephen King, and then it's also Abrams, right? Abrams is doing it. He's, I think. Well, Abrams, Abrams is, is doing it. He's, he's directing it or yeah, he's producing it. it. Producer, so, I mean, producer. But yeah, no, it's really high quality. It's you know, time. It's you know, going back in time and save JFK. And of course, time doesn't want that to happen, so all sorts of shenanigans gets in the way. Timey wimey, timey wimey shenanigans. Maybe The Rock shows up in his TARDIS. The Rock and uh, Craig Ferguson. That would be a great Doctor Who <laughs> companion. They're both the companion. They're both the Doctor. Yes. What? what? They could just do that. They Donna could have Doc, him be Don, like Donna Doctor. But just flat out, you don't even need a companion because yeah. with the time travel, you could have uh, the. Doc. So what's the Doctor now? He's the thirteenth one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you could have the fourteenth one be. The Rock yeah. and the fifth one be Craig Ferguson yeah. because the fifteenth one comes back to travel with the fourteenth one. Yeah. Ah, oh, you could even then like you do that for a couple seasons where it's just double Doctor. Yeah. And then when the Rock is ready to go and do something else, when he dies, he'll regenerate into Craig Ferguson, and you'll have double Craig Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> do just, it. We just made it up better. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm, I'm about your recommendation. What? Because the last Stephen King TV series was amazing. Under terrible. the dome? Yeah, it was not very amazing. <laughs> well, AB, there's, there's the AV Club's reviews were great. They were the they best. They became more and more desperate. <laughs> they were the reviews of AV Club. That was the best thing. The, and that's a perfect example why should, if it's a book, it should maybe be one to two seasons max and tell the story and be done. Don't You don't drag a book out forever. Well, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be only one season in, yeah. the, in the first place because that's as far as the book went is that first season. And then they just drug it out and it was horrible. Well, because it was good, and instead of being like one good season and being done, they're like, "Oh, let's milk this shit," and then they didn't have anything to milk. No, they didn't. They, they, they it was my, it was my uh, weekly torture device. It was so bad, so bad. It's like Heroes, the newest Heroes. That was pretty fucking horrible too. Were they making a Dark Tower series? They're That's always making Dark Tower film, yeah. but yeah, they've been doing that since before he wrote the books. There's okay. talk it's a of, constant of the universe. Yeah, it's kind of a loop like the books. <laughs> Spoilers. Well, all I've heard is that I'm supposed to avoid like the last like chapter of of the last book if I ever read it. That's, that's what he says, but it's still it, it, that's not my problem with it. It's <laughs> it's the it's the it's the two chapters before that that I hate the most. It's like it's it has kind of the Mass Effect problem where you get to the end and it just gets really stupid. I don't even mind the part where it says you know stop reading. The part after that I don't hate. It's the part before that that I hate so much. I didn't. There, there was the one that was a flashback to them as kids. Yeah. That for some people, some people apparently don't like that one. I like that fine. And then there's the, there's a break like he didn't write a book for a decade, and then he wrote the last three I, books like people rapidly. don't like. Sometimes they don't like book four, and uh, book four is the best in the series. And if you don't like book four, yeah, in that's the, series, the flashback. I will, talk yeah, about. I know. Yeah, yeah. I will fight anyone who doesn't like the book. I will fight them from outside. Yeah, I <laughs> love that. Book. They can and, say the series ends badly. I'm not going to fight that one. But there was a huge gap, and then the last three then came out pretty rapidly, Correct. like like one a year or something. And yep. I didn't read any of those actually. I haven't read past book four. Book four is great. He actually has another book that came out like in the last last couple of years, which is basically another story like four, which I kind of want to read. I haven't read, but it's basically like four, where it's just from, back in that time from that story from that yeah. uh, that world or yeah. Hmm. It's just him basically between books four and five telling another story. Hmm. My recommendation is is uh, to go and check out the Venture Brothers. 
the newest season. Make sure that you check with episode zero <laughs> because because it starts with a zero this time around, not epi- not season episode one. If you if you start the seri- the season and half the characters are missing, stop. Mm-hmm. And they're in New and York. Find them you're like, why are they, they're in New York and half the characters are missing. Like, stop. Episode zero is probably one of the best episodes of the show. Yeah, I, and I I started the season because I, I set my DVR to record it because that's when fucking Cartoon Network was saying that the you know season premiere of episode one episode one I'm like oh great I'll set my DVR to record this and then they failed to tell anybody about two weeks prior they had the big setup episode to episode one mm. so but yeah Venture Brothers it's the the way the new season is going is they're really kind of I mean they've kind of been out of it for the last like three four years, so they're slowly reintroducing everybody and it seems like they're kind of going back home in a sense where they're resetting things back up to what they were in the first first season. Yeah. So Brock is basically back as their bo- protector, you know, with the boys and you know the pirate ship captain. It's very et cetera, very et good. It's very good. Also, I like that our chat room is, they're just trolling each other now. They're not even like, it's just like a constant, like, mm-hmm. chatting. The last thing posted I knew was a troll, but sometimes a troll is so terrible it still makes you angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can tell they're just arguing with each other in there. It's great. Uh, oh my God. Final Fantasy X 2 is just fuck. You like you like Barbie dress up, don't you? I I would have been fine with that. I don't mind the job system, and I don't mind uh, fan service. You know, flashes of half naked anime girls as an excuse for the job system. It was literally everything else about that game. <laughs> the like, story's so good. Yeah, uh, it. it actually like could have been. It could have like, been, before, but it wasn't. Before I gave up on it entirely. <clears throat> like I don't remember. There's something like she's she's like. Titus is dead, but then she's getting a message from him or something. You uh, I'm not gonna. Do and that. then I stopped playing because the game was fucking terrible. But that was the one thing that almost made me care. But I guess I could just wiki the plot. Yeah. It's worth wikiing just so that you can get madder. <laughs> Rydia comes in there for a little while. So I should probably mention too. Somebody, sorry, I was uh, just jumping in. Um, somebody asked, like, "What is Venture Brothers?" It could be a troll. But if it's not, it's it. But it's it's a. It's a show that parodies pretty much the '60s cartoons, like Johnny Quest. Specifically, Johnny Quest. Uh, very, very similar to Johnny Quest. It's basically as if Johnny Quest had grown up and had his own kids, and this is the world they live in. So. You could, if you, if you only wanted to quote one show, that would be one of the top three shows you could survive off just quoting. Everybody should watch at least the first couple seasons of uh, of uh, Venture Brothers. Yeah. You know, even if, even if, because some people think it got kind of, no, I don't know. I think you watch one, it, two, three and go right to five. I mean, I don't think four and five are bad, but five, they're, they, they, all the new side characters aren't as interesting as the original characters. They're not bad. Right. Correct. They're just not as interesting. I mean, right. there's, there's a few great moments sprinkled in those two The seasons. first couple seasons of Venture Brothers are like just masterpieces. Yep. You know, and you can debate the quality of like three or four, four when they do some more things. And even then, the bad seasons of it are still yeah. good. A television. little bit too much pedophile going on like yeah. they slightly had too much pedophile there's a, you there's a, there's a the limit creators thought pedophilia was funny and so yeah. they put in multiple pedophiles the two that's multiple that's, yeah <laughs> that's at least one too many yeah <laughs> one, one head one head issue well tiny feet you like tiny feet that was his thing it's at least one too many yes yes, <laughs> yes that's very true it's a very it's a very accurate you will not learn about very, anything about stocks zero or one well handled one you can correct I, I, I have one stock thing before we stop because this I, I, I avoided a troll because we did the murder mystery thing at the Shades is, is, is and um, they gave me a character that was a uh, financial officer and Katie gave it to me because she thought it would be funny if she could ask me how stocks work and I had to explain it in character but luckily for me the character was also like a paranoid schizophrenic who believed <laughs> in um, government conspiracies and like wore a tinfoil hat and so my answer for how stocks work is that nobody knows how stocks work. That's why it's a perfect cover for when they want to give a new lizard person a lot of money really quickly. They just say Twitter stock is up, and then they give the guy in charge of Twitter a lot of money. And since nobody knows how stocks work, you can't prove that it's just a government conspiracy. <laughs> you were the most Jewish person at that event. I accidentally made a yarmulke out of tin foil. <laughs> I tried making one of those pirate hats like you do on a newspaper, but it was too small for my hydrocephalic melon, so I just smashed it down, and do, and then it turned out to be a yarmulke. 
financial officer. That's racist. <laughs> a little bit. I wasn't disproving. Okay. Dis yeah. Bye bye. So we should probably call it. All right. Good night. Bye. Thanks for watching, folks.